Hello. Hello, hello. Well, it is time. It is indeed time to summon the Big 20. Beautiful case made by Commodore. So it's a Vic 1020 and it's heavy. As I showed you once before, it has five cartridge ports inside. I would suppose that schools who might make use of this would. Um, be able to put whatever cartridges they want, mostly probably memory expansion, but who knows. So the way this works is you take your regular RIG-20 power supply and you plug it in to farther back. Then there's a cord that comes out of the side and plugs into the RIG-20. Now, let me just see. Is yes, this power supply is plugged in. Now the other thing inside it has a video cable. Already with it. So I'm gonna try that one. Now which is which? Oh yeah, it does. It says audio, and wait for it, video. Okay, so, I will unplug the cable I have in there. So I guess the idea was, you could plunk a monitor down on here. Oh, yeah, I don't need to. Just a second. I would like to have this running out the back as designed by the forefathers. Okay, so the dark, of course, do the colors match the monitors? No, of course not. <laughs> They're black and gray. Okay, so this Rick 20 is ugly. It is. First thing I'm going to do is open this up. See before anything else what's inside here. Oh. If I don't think they will all work together, and I don't see a way to switch them. So, this might be typical of what might be found in a school setting. Ooh, dirty. This is a super expander with 3, 3K. Super Expander with 3K of RAM. Also found in there was an 8K RAM Expander. And wait for it, a 16. So, when you add all this up, and I think you can, 27. So, in the end, I guess it would have like 32. Now, I'm going to turn it on with nothing in there. Oh, also, of course, as I told you, I had a Mega Race and Avenger. So, I'm going to turn this on with nothing and just see what happens. So, first, we're going to turn on the power in the back, then we're going to turn on the Big 20. I think, there it goes, something happened. Although I did not see the LED come on, I did see a flash. And now I don't. Uh 
Huh. How intriguing is that? Well, that is not exactly what I expected to see. Now, does this come out easy? Oh, it can't possibly come out easy. It's plugged into this thing. I do not think there's anything extra holding it in. Except... The cartridge port accessory. I believe. But it's been plugged in here for a real long time. Something broke. Oh. Well, I'm not sure if it broke now. It looks like the bottom piece here on the VIC-20 has had some damage over the years. Why? I don't know. Now, I suppose maybe what I should have done, perhaps, is I should have taken my regular power supply and I should have plugged it into the VIC-20 without the accessories. Let's see what happens. Much the same. Nothing. Hmm. Now, right, I did see a flash initially. This makes me think that maybe the fuse did blow. Okay, and this is plugged in, and the monitor is plugged into that power bar. Okay, so, now this, this VIC-20 is filthy. Filthy, filthy, filthy. It's also not working, um, at least so far. So I don't think I need, this piece of the case is never going to be useful. Oh, there's my gloves. I think I'm going to put this up here to rest. And I'm going to go over here and get another big 20. Oh. Now, am I looking forward to hurting anything? No, I am not. Is it possible I will? I would like to think not. So, I'm going to take this VIC-20, which is having trouble staying closed. You know what? The top and the bottom don't match. No wonder. Okay. Well, anyway. I... It doesn't really matter. All I'm going to do, I suppose, first thing, the video cable because I know this VIC-20 was working. Now that is funny. Oh, oh, no, it's not funny. Ha! Of course, the LED is not plugged in. So the VIC-20, this VIC-20, has come up and shown signs of life. Excellent. Okay. So, I suppose... I will do. Yeah, see what's happening here is the fingers don't match up. So this top does not match this bottom. Oh well. I am going to, I think, if I can. I think I can plug in uh, plug in the LED, which is always a nice thing to see. Why is this not wanting to go in? Yeah. 
Maybe you could. Oh. Okay, that's in. I'll plug in the keyboard. We'll set this down as best as we can. Plug my power supply back in, we'll turn it on. And, shaboom. Up it comes. So now, we're going to be daring. This is the daring part. Alright, I'm going to take this. I'm going to try and put it in here without breaking anything. A little bit. Boy, that's mighty snug. You know what? That one in. It, that's, I don't think it went in. But it feels like it went in. Well, let's try. Make sure the power is off. And then this other plug goes in here. back in. And hopefully we will do no harm. And we see, oh, oh yes, we're going to turn. Okay, what do we have? Ah we have power. Now, but do we have did I actually get this put in? Felt just, you know these things really don't go in that easy. Let's turn let's turn on this with a mega race. Oh. Okay. So we do have. So so now let's see. We'll put in the 16k expander. Turn it on. So we now have 19,967 bytes free. We'll put in the 8K expander. Nice and secure. We'll turn it on. And we now have... Hmm, the same. I am not sure. Let's try the 8K all by itself. Hmm. Nothing. Do we have a defective thing? I don't know. Let's try. I'm not quite in all the way. Nope. We still only have. Try another slot further back. No, this is not working. Okay, let's try the super expander with 3K. Okay, so with that, we do get more memory. I should know what the super expander does, but I don't. Let's add all of that. Well, that looks kind of funny. In that, it doesn't quite look like we have. It should be like 24K. Maybe these things don't work well together. Well, that's strange. Well, we have 19,000. That's all we have. Keyboard's a little dirty on this. So, I'm sure this isn't going to make a difference. I'm going to put all these in. Maybe there's a trick to this. Oh, okay. Now we have 
It doesn't sound quite right yet, but let's take this one out. Twenty-eight thousand. Maybe with those two, this doesn't come into play. I don't know. I'll put it way in the back. Nothing is happening. I'll give that a little wiggle waggle. And nothing is happening. So, let's try. Omega rays, which did work before. Maybe all these Rammy things are not friendly to game cartridges. Oh, well, it's up to them. Perhaps it is the super expander that is causing. and wait. Patience. Maybe while it thinks about it. Nope. Not happening. But then a mega race comes up. Maybe it doesn't like working with the others. And one more time for Avenger. Maybe it doesn't like working with others. Oh! Avenger. Which is... Remarkably like Space Invaders. Okay. So. It is kind of crusty and rusty. Um, it might even be a candidate for gasp repainting or stripping down. I don't know. I would certainly... Inside it looks pretty good, although there is corrosion inside. The top, there's some rust, etc. Interesting. Well, for this moment, 
I think I'm going to leave. RAM cartridges in, take the game cartridges out, turn it on, see what happens. Yeah, I think really the Super Expander is taking over here because I'm going to shift these just for fun because Maybe there's documentation on this. When I put in all three RAM expanders and the and the super expander is the first one, it doesn't really see the extra RAM. When I turn it on, there's all of them. Well, I don't know. Now if I knew what the super expander did. I'll have to look up and see what's what. Anyway, so so this, I imagine, classroom remedy seems to be functioning. But remember, the big 20 that was in there is not. But that is another story. Until we meet again. Bye for now.